Now the sun may not be shining in July in England, hello, <laughs> but it is in the studio because on today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this great sunglasses case. I've got a free pattern for you, so let's go. So for this project we're going to need some fusible fleece, we're going to need some vinyl and we're going to need some cotton. This vinyl and cotton is from fantasticcrafts.co.uk and I'll pop them in the link in the description below. They have kindly gifted me these for this tutorial. You're going to need a magnetic clasp and you're going to need some Decaville light as well. So first of all, you wanna grab the pattern and you can find that in the description below and you get it in the A4 size or the letter size. If you are one of my friends from across the pond, then with the letter size, I'm afraid you are going to have to just cut and tape that pattern together just so that it matches up. Once you've cut out your pattern, you're then gonna to need to cut it out of your fabrics. And that's really simple. We just need one in the cotton, one in the vinyl, and then you're gonna cut off your seam allowance like I have on this one, and you're going to cut it out of the fleece as well. Just because then you won't have the bulk in the seams, it's gonna make it a bit easier, it's gonna lie a little bit better. And you wanna fuse your fusible fleece to the vinyl, making sure that it's nicely spaced out within those seam allowance. I also like to use my Teflon sheet over the top. I really recommend a Teflon sheet. You can find all my favorite products in the description below as well. So once you've got your fusible fleece on, we're then going to turn it over so that we put right sides together and we're going to clip it so that the edge of our seam allowance on the fleece is matching up with that notch. And then we're gonna sew with a one centimeters or three eighths of an inch seam allowance along those edges. Next, we're going to take that corner and we're just going to measure up one and a half centimeters or five eighths of an inch on both sides from that corner. Then I'm gonna trim that seam allowance down so that it's half of a centimeter. And I'm gonna pinch that corner so that that seam is lying in the middle of that triangle pop the clip then we're going to stitch a line across where that point is in a straight line so I'm going to draw it on it's going to make it a bit easier with my friction pen and I'm going to stitch along those lines then I'm just going to snip that corner off so that we've got half a centimetre seam allowance on both corners and you can see it's starting to take shape so the next thing we need to do is we need to do our lining so I've got this beautiful kind of galaxy rainbow print it's just so pretty and I think it's gonna go really well so we want to repeat the process and we're going to line up those edges just like we did before. So now we've got our lining and our outer. We want to turn our lining so that it's the right way out. And then we're going to pop that lining inside the outer piece and we're going to clip all the way around the edge and we're going to sew with a one centimeter or three eighths of an inch seam allowance and we're going to leave a gap of around four inches for the opening at the front of the case. that stitch we're then going to cut close to the seam allowance all the way around that curve but we're not going to cut that front piece we're also going to snip in tiny little triangles around that curve this is going to make it lie a lot flatter and nicer when we come to do the top stitching 
So I've just cut that top shape out of some Decaville light and I'm going to use that to reinforce it for the magnetic clasp. And to do that I've used my original pattern and I've just folded it on those top notch lines to get that top shape without the seam allowance. So I'm just securing that Decaville light to the inside of the top flap. And it makes it easier doing it at this stage because then you can make sure it's not in your seam lines and also you can make sure that you've got it in the right place. Once that's in place, we can go ahead and berth the case. And then we want to find the middle of that front flap. So I'm just going to measure, make a mark with my friction pen. And I'm going to make a little indentation so I can just see roughly where it is. It's hard for you to see it on camera, but there are two little dents there. Cut a little hole. I'm not cutting through the vinyl, I'm just cutting through the fabric and that decaville. Nice and secure. Then we want to find the place for our other side. So to do that, I'm just making sure it's all lined up and I'm just pushing gently with that first clasp. And you can, I don't know if you can see, but there's a slight indent again. So I can see that that's the middle. I'm just gonna make a mark so that it's a bit easier to see. I'm gonna place my female part of the clasp on top push it down so I've got those two indents cut the hole again I'm cutting through the vinyl and the fleece but I'm not cutting through the liner I'm going to place clips all the way around the edge just to keep it nice and flat and then I'm going to top stitch around the edge. And there we have it, the perfect sunglasses case to protect your sunglasses from getting scratched. Thanks again to Fantastic Crafts for gifting this vinyl. It's really fantastic and it's so, so beautiful. Thanks so much for watching. Coming up on the screen right now are some more great tutorials that I think you're gonna love. I'll see you on the next video.